Hello, my name is Dominic Manera. I just recently purchased a Phantom CNC system and I wanted to share my experience in setting up my vacuum hold down system. Let's first look at a few of the components that make up the vacuum system. You have a vacuum pressure regulator. You have a particulate inlet filter. And then you have a muffler which all are part of the assembly. This is how my vacuum system looks once installed, set up in series. You can also hook them up parallel. On the S series, the vacuum suction hose connects at the rear of the CNC where the four individual zone valves are located. On my particular installation, I chose to use two separate disconnects. They will feed the individual vacuums so that I can start one and then start the second, or I can run just one if I prefer to. In preparation for the installation of the rubber gasket, I wanted to make sure that I cleaned out all of the areas that had been milled out to create the vacuum zones. I feel like it's important to make sure that's clean when you're starting so that the gasket material can be installed very simply. Here you can see where I've started installing the gasket material. My idea was to just go around the perimeter and install the gasket material since I was going to be put, putting down a spool board over the entire piece. As you'll see when I got near the end, I realized that it may be better to turn the gasket material about an inch on each end. That way, if I have any shrinkage or if something were to happen to it, I would have a little bit extra left over where I could um, pull it out and reinstall it. Now that the gasket material was installed in the vacuum table, I was gonna need to resurface my spool board because I had been using uh, my spool board without the vacuum with traditional clamping. So you'll see here where I was surfacing uh, the spool board uh, to make sure that I had a nice clean slate to start with. Once I finished surfacing the spool board, I felt like it would be advantageous to have the grid lay out on the spool board so I laid it out in a spire and cut it on the top surface of the spool board. I had just a few days earlier cut my sign, which is on the wall behind the CNC using traditional clamping. So I wanted to test that same material with the vacuum system to see what type of holding force it had. During this test, I had the front two zones on. The three and four zones, which were the two rear zones, were turned off. As I conduct this test, I realize how much simpler it would have been to cut my sign if I'd only waited a few more days. Prior to the purchase of the Phantom 4x8 CNC, I had a 2x3 CNC machine and I had to utilize a jig. It normally took me eight hours to cut out what you're about to see 
that I did in three hours today. As you can see, my material was set up at 20 inch, inch lengths, which was causing me a little bit of a concern, but they had already been sectioned up to be used in the jig that I had previously been using. Um, one of the things that I did learn after I cut these, as the cuts started taking place and removing more material, I was on the very last cut when I did notice a little bit of movement because of the vacuum system and all the open areas. So what I did on the next series of lamp bases is I actually sectioned the vacuum system off like a wave. I had everything on when I set the material, but then I had on section one and section two that got me through my first two cuts. As section one, which is the first row finished up, I turned section one of the vacuum system off and then turned on section three, which then left on section two and section three, which increased the um, suction of the vacuum system greatly. And that basically held everything in place without any movement. So in closing, I, I guess basically what I wanna say, um, I'm very pleased with the Phantom system. I'm, I'm very pleased with the vacuum system that, that came with the system. Uh, not knowing anything about the vacuum hold downs, uh, you know, I, I did what I thought was right. I'm sure there's some things that I can Im do to improve the hold down. Um, but if anybody has any suggestions, uh, please, please contact me and let me know. But overall, uh, this vacuum system is going to enhance what I can do greatly. In the future, when I'm cutting these same products out, I'll leave the material full length. And that way I can lay down an eight foot length of board and there won't be any issue with the boards moving whatsoever. And then I'll just, you know, take the vacuum system and move it along the, the table as I'm cutting. And that way I'll have maximum suction power out of the vacuum system. But anyway, if anybody has any suggestions or comments, please let me know because I'm, I'm open to, to learning as much as I can about the vacuum system. Uh, thank you very much and uh, please visit um, Phantom CNC.